Hello, welcome back to my floor. So today, another quick one because my dissertation is due in under two weeks. Yay. I'm very busy, so I do not have a ton of time to do this, but I want to talk about the announced theme for the Met Gala, or at least what the exhibit will be. Um, I'll start by just, I'll play the TikTok the Met posted. The countdown to the first Monday in May has officially begun. Get excited for the Costume Institute's Spring 2024 exhibition, Sleeping Beauty's Reawakening Fashion. On view to the public starting May 10th, this immersive exhibition will bring to life the sensory elements of fashion masterworks in the museum's collection. All of the exhibition's 250 garments and accessories will be visually connected through images of nature, a metaphor for the impermanence of fashion as well as a means to explore ideas of renewal and rebirth. Juxtaposing historical fashions with contemporary counterparts, the exhibition will employ diverse technologies including augmented reality, AI, CGI, animation, projection, and soundscapes to breathe new life into these storied objects through creative and immersive activations designed to convey the scents, sounds, textures, and motions of garments that can no longer directly interact with the body. Punctuating the exhibition will be a series of sleeping beauties, garments that can no longer be dressed on mannequins due to their extreme fragility, that will be displayed in glass cases, allowing visitors to analyze their very states of deterioration as if under a microscope. Some of these extraordinary beauties will be brought back to life using Pepper's Ghost, a 19th century theater technique to create illusions. In celebration of the exhibition opening, the Met Gala will take place on Monday, May 6, 2024. Visit starting May 10th. See you there! So my first thoughts after watching this video is that the theme itself was not, or like what they wanted the exhibit to be, was not wholly clear. Um, it really felt like when you have to do a group project and everyone has different ideas and you just end up using everybody's ideas. Um, yeah, so all the technology stuff is interesting. Um, very curious about how they plan on implementing the AI. Um, but that's a question for later. Um, but it just, it felt like the title of Sleeping Beauties and the way they presented it within this video was just like, the most interesting thing they picked out and that it would be a very small portion of this exhibit. It, from the video, didn't feel like it was going to be a main focus. And then on top of that, you had all the technology stuff they highlighted. Also, Pepper's Ghost is like a projection technique. They're just projecting video. Um, so, but it's like they did all this technology talk and then it's like, but also ancient garments of decay and everything's floral and you're just kind of like these feel like three kind of different ideas and like the nature stuff feels kind of shoved in at the end and it's like just to like make it easier to pick out pieces of clothing which like i get sometimes so from what i've read it seems like the structure of the exhibit is going to be based a lot more on um Sorry, I had a hair um, on these Sleeping Beauties. And there's like, where is it? What did Andrew Bolton say? He said there's three areas and it'll be like, um, I gotta find things. This is what I get for not highlighting and being busy. Um, so there'll be like three zones of the exhibit, Lancy and Sky which uh, trace evolving attitudes to the natural world through craft. Um, Andrew Bolton, who's the curator in charge, uh, said that it's an ode to nature and the emotional poetics of fashion. So it seems like it's more focused on the sleeping beauties and the nature element than like all the technology stuff they brought up and all the technology stuff they brought up is like a way to heighten this experience which i just i don't know it just might be me i didn't feel like the video did a great way of laying it out especially if 
you're very briefly mentioning that like the main focus of this exhibit is meant to be these i think they said it's like 15 pieces of clothing that can't be worn anymore and it's just like okay cool uh it does sound somewhat interesting it's definitely not the most interesting met gala exhibit that i've ever heard of um but also I get it. It needs to be commercial enough that the general public is going to go. But also, like, the year after a designer retrospective, like, we can do a little more. We can we could push it a little bit. Um, yeah. So now I'd like to get into... Um, <coughs> and I'll just wrap up. I would like to give my full thoughts. I think it's gonna be an interesting exhibit to see. I, I, I won't go, I've never gone to any of them, but it just sounds kind of eh, uh, and kind of group project-y in the way it was presented. Um, but now let's move on to the actual gala, which will be May 6th. Um, well, we have no information about the gala. I do think it's very important to know that um, TikTok is the main sponsor for the exhibit. You're gonna see TikTokers at the gala and then don't get upset when you see them on the red carpet. Like they're there because TikTok is sponsoring. That's why they're there, okay? The, um, it also says Lueve and as always, Condé Nast who publishes Vogue and stuff uh, will be there. So Lueve is the fashion house. So we'll probably see Lueve table where we have a bunch of people who work and wear the wave work with the wave as like ambassadors get invited um so that could be fun i enjoyed um gw anderson's uh stuff so yeah i i've got a feeling that the theme itself for the gala is going to be something with like nature or like they talked about in the vogue article i read which i'll link they talked about like sustainability and stuff so it's probably gonna be something in there they're probably gonna draw heavily on the floral bit um yeah that's my prediction i think it's gonna be pretty boring somebody's gonna wear that dior dress we all we all know the dior dress the petal one i'll throw in a photo of it but it's like somebody's gonna wear the dior dress it's gonna be boring like, oh, like whatever i just it just feels like another boring carpet we're gonna get and that's what i'm most upset about but also it's like we're never gonna top heavenly bodies as like a carpet i think not unless we actually try so yeah those are my quick thoughts i'm not thrilled about it i think we could have pushed for a more interesting topic uh for the exhibit but also i get it they need to sell tickets the whole thing is like at the end of the day it's all for a public museum that has to sell tickets so it's like whatever but yeah those are my thoughts um i need to go write my dissertation uh have such a good week i will see you next time uh okay bye and as i told bella when she sent me that the met had released its exhibit for the year uh uh the met gala will put me in an early grave <laughs>